Hello, I'm Tal, this is Tomer, and we are from the m &H Distillery here in Tel Aviv. We produce single malt whiskies here in this very hot climate. Uh, and we want to introduce you to our yearly or actually bi-yearly project that is called the Autocraft Series. The last time we did that, it was all kinds of beer casks, craft beer casks. And this year, we are focusing on dessert wine casks from different varieties, different styles and different places around Europe. Tomer, usually, yes. In the world of whiskey, we use mostly sherry cask or port cask. Here we have uh, more unique casks that we chose, uh, like white port, Tokai, Madeira, or Ricciotto. Let's taste. So the first one, we're starting with uh, the white port. So this is the wine. Of course, fortified wine from the Douro Valley in Portugal. Gives you uh, some sweetness, a little bit of sourness as well. and. Beautiful texture. It has nice blossom, nice flower. And this is the whiskey that was aged in the same type of casks. So amazingly, the sweetness from here, you don't feel it uh, like very hard in the whiskey. But you get some of the white blossom and the floral yeah. and just a little bit of uh, vanilla. Usually with dessert wines, you pair it with, uh, with all kinds of uh, different uh, cheese. So let's try the Marcelam cheese, which is a, a goat cheese, uh, like camembert. Nice. And I think the creaminess and the texture really complements this whiskey. The cheese is a little bit bitter. It really. And takes out the flavors. And it gets uh, the flavors, some of the sweetness and the little bite Next you have the in the whiskey. more sweet. Yeah. So the next one is uh, the Tokai uh, cask. Tokai is a sweet wine, dessert wine from Hungary, which actually has the butritis, which is a kind of a fungus that makes it very, very sweet. It takes the sugar up in the grape itself, so you get very, very high sugar uh, density in, in the wine. Very expensive wine, by the way. Oh. So it's the wine itself, it's, nice. it's amazing. So, you know, it's fruity and, and floral and everything here. You get a lot of uh, uh, stone fruits Good. in the nice wine itself. Nice combination between sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And with the whiskey. You actually get the stone fruits here as well. It's like yeah. kind of an apricot peach. or peach with a little bit of mustiness in, in the background. Like, you feel like in the, you're in the cellars with the, with the wine casks. Nice. And here, you really feel the character of the wine. Yeah, there's a, there's a correlation and influence. And we're gonna try this one with a, a mature cheddar cheese. Oh, nice. Thank you. Welcome. The cheese is the melts in the mouth, in the palate. And it's tangy, it's a little bit spicy. Mm. And then the whiskey covers it, you get even more fruity notes. More fruity, sweeter. It's a perfect pair. Very good. Mm -hmm. Well, the third whiskey is the one that we matured in Madeira cask. Actually, Ma maybe it's my favorite. Really? But by the way, Madeira is a white wine even though it look, doesn't look like that. It comes from uh, a Portuguese island called Madeira. Who's coming from Madeira as well? Uh, Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Mm. Nice wine. I think the wine is great. Wine is it's sweet and bitter. The texture sweet. is crazy. It's not, not too sweet. And the whiskey, You get some tobacco notes here, yeah, like, tobacco, like in the wines. And raisins as well. Raisins, dried fruit. A lot of wood notes. Spiciness. Let's pair it up with this very light blue cheese. Which is not blue. It will be blue when it's going to get older, but nice. uh, 
Yeah, but it smells like uh, must. Actually, here it works the opposite. The cheese is very strong. Yeah. The flavors. And it's very makes the whiskey easy, easy to drink. Like get the whiskey. Some spiciness. And the, and again the tobacco notes. The tobacco notes. Nice pairing. So the last whiskey. Last whiskey is which one? This one. Okay, the Ricciotto. Um, a dessert wine, almost made from raisins from Valpolicella in northern Italy, in Veneto. Uh, beautiful wine. Yeah, nice color. Smells like wow. prunes, like raisins. Black fruits. Black fruits and heavy and some farm notes, you know what I'm talking about, like robust. Mm, nice texture. Mm. Sweet and heavy, you get the, the spiciness and you get some of the uh, wood notes as well. Very Let's nice. see what, what it gets to the whiskey. I'm clean my palate before the whiskey now. I'm clean it with whiskey. You get a little bit of vanilla and some spiciness as well. Yeah, you feel the sweetness, also covered by covered by spicy, yeah. spicy notes. Long finish. A very long finish, and then again, raisins and a lot of uh, like caramelized orange peels. Really nice combination of sweet and spicy. Yeah, but you get, you get orange peels and you get dark fruits. Yeah. Let's try it with, let's try to pair it with the Dana Blue. Blue you cheese. Need the strong cheese for this. The strongest cheese. saltiness and the taste of the blue cheese gets kind of gets rid of the spiciness then you get yeah. more and more uh, vanilla and a lot of sweeter yeah. and less spicy a lot of fruits because it's so it's, it's spicy so it's kind of balances this the spiciness and get the fruitiness nice. out there and the texture is great as well I can stay here all day long mm. and taste Cheese with whiskey. Cheese and So this is the series, the Arthur Craft series from the dessert wines. It's really nice year for the Arthur Craft. It's a, it's a good year. Uh, a small batch, very small batch from each one of them. So get your hands on one of them and uh, stay tuned. Let's see what we're gonna surprise you guys next year. We're still thinking about that. Or we actually know what we're talking about, but we're not gonna Bye. tell you, so. Cheers. Cheers.